We engaged with over a hundred uh, banks to understand some of the leading practices around risk and finance integration. At this moment in time, in 2013, we believe it's a specific opportunity around risk and finance integration. There's a coming together of regulation, the coming together of uh, risk technology capabilities, and also banks are looking to reduce costs and increase performance. And these drivers have led to the need for risk and finance integration more than ever before. I would summarize the key findings into three areas. Number one, data and uh, data quality and data integration. Banks are still uh, grappling with the concepts of data reconciliation and data consistency. And as with all management information, the quality of data going in uh, is totally the, the critical success factor in terms of what comes out. So data management and data quality are very important. Second area of concern is around the organizational barriers. I think risk and finance functions have traditionally been uh, operating in silos and uh, the new regulations are requiring them to work closely, particularly around areas such as stress testing and capital management. Finally, the third sort of key area of uh, finding for us was uh, the practical implementation issues. You know, some banks are treating this as a change initiative, you know, taking a sort of revolutionary approach and, and trying to change the bank to address risk and finance requirements. Other uh, banks are approaching it from an ongoing evolutionary perspective, small incremental steps. Banks need to get the right balance between short-term tactical steps and the long-term strategic view. And getting that balance uh, ultimately is going to be the make or break of risk and finance integration.